for the purposes of the record, will you please state the name of the man you had stationed at La Bawaleshi? The man stationed at La Bawaleshi was my colleague, Roland Walker. Mr. Mensa, the program you last described is very insightful. My Lord, please repeat that. that. The program you described and the opinions of your listeners are very insightful. Thank you, my Lord. Can the commission have access to a copy? Yes, my Lord. We'll add that to what we intend to submit by close of day Friday. Very well. Now, you agree with me that when journalists in this country join forces with others to fight Galamsey, we don't know whether it's gone all together, but at least it's minimized. That's what we are made to believe. So then, what are you and your friends in the media doing to help make vigilantism unpopular? The first and most important thing is to shine a light on, on the evils of vigilant, political vigilantism. Because really, that's, that's what the media is supposed to do. It's to, become, it's to be the eyes, the ears. of the population. And continue to create platforms such as I had just recounted for citizens. Because what I have come to learn in my job, that the number one thing a politician fears the most is a thumb. Right? When you, as media, give platform for ordinary voices to s consistently talk about how this affects your lives, express their outrage about such things that politicians do, you send a signal to the politician that we no longer tolerate it. And we might punish you come the election. However, we have to be consistent. Because if you talk about it one day, you don't, been, you, you abandon it, and then the politician get a breathing space, and we return to life as usual. So for me, I think that is one of the primary ways we can contribute to this. Provide a platform for everyday citizens, the electorate most affected by this, to take on the political class. And hopefully through that process, the politician will come to realize that you will not be rewarded when it comes to elections because you put out vigilante groups. Because the citizens keep on speaking that they don't, in essence, endorse that. I think for me, that is one of the ways that we can help. But also shine a light on, and we try to do that in, in my work as a journalist at Joy FM. If, Politicians are in public saying they are committed to disbanding vigilantism, but in private recruiting political party tags for their purposes. It is our duty, and the Constitution so enjoins us to do, to expose that, to expose that hypocrisy so that the electorate will see through and hopefully make a decision come election time, because that's what the politician is most afraid of. And punish, I guess, the, the group of political class who seem to be 
speaking one thing in public, meanwhile doing the very opposite in private. Our job is to expose that, shine a light on it, and be consistent in creating platforms where these issues are discussed dispassionately, apolitically, but also in the manner designed to offer solutions. Let's create a pressure cooker, I guess, where the politicians simply cannot escape. We've seen in my work that that works. When you put pressure on the politician, and it's in the media constantly and daily, they are being condemned, they often tend to comply and eventually do the right thing because, you know, it might eventually translate into votes come election day.